so freaking delicious. How cute is this cup? I love the handle. It's just so cute. Ah, it's my favorite mug that I own. Very cute. Anyway, welcome back to the... <sighs> Welcome back to the Half Soybean channel. My name is Sharon and today is another episode of House Soybean. This is a series where I've been kind of making over and DIYing places in my apartment. Today, today's episode, I am going to be attempting to make a tiled mirror. Um, obviously, I've already made it at this point and I can tell you that this is one of the most, the most fun, the funnest I don't know, it was so fun to tile. I didn't expect this to be so fun, but I really enjoyed it so much. Like probably one of my favorite DIY projects ever. And I can't wait to share it with you. I'm also going to be DIYing pink grout. So if you're interested in learn how I did that, keep watching and let's get started. You might have noticed the mirror sitting on the side in my previous videos, but I wasn't the biggest fan of the brown frame. I should tell you a little bit about this mirror. I did pick it up on Facebook Marketplace for $125. And the dimensions of this mirror are 160 centimeters by 110 centimeters. So given those dimensions, I think it's quite a bit of a bargain. I feel that mirrors, they can be tall, but often they are quite skinny. And as like the width and height increase, obviously the price increases as well, but I'm, I'm really happy with what I paid um, with this secondhand mirror. I actually have been really wanting to make a wavy mirror or DIYing something similar. I don't know, I've just been having it in my head for like a couple of months now that that's what I wanna make for my house. But given that it's a lockdown, it's already been I don't know, I've been in lockdown for like nine weeks at this point and I just don't know when I'm gonna be able to go back to the hardware store. Um, I don't know, it's just not essential for me to go get like wood supplies at this moment. So that's why I just decided that making a tile mirror might be just as exciting and right up my alley. So that's kind of how I came to make this DIY. This is a laminate frame. So I don't think it's solid wood. Uh, anyway, I didn't feel as bad covering it up. The first thing I did was put painter's tape along the inner edge of the mirror to protect the surface from any of the mess that I would be making. I also sanded down the surface a little bit just so that the tile adhesive would have something to grab onto when I went on to tile the frame. I first did a rough sandpaper and then I went back with a finer sandpaper. I got a very exciting delivery from Bunnings. I got my tile. I ordered three sheets, so it wasn't very expensive at all. And I also got this bucket, <laughs> but inside there's a couple of things. I've got white grout, but I'm going to color it a squeegee for something else, but maybe I need it for grouting. I was too cheap to buy a float. They were so expensive for some reason. I got some wall tile adhes adhesive. Just got a little, little tub. I think it was like $10. And I don't know, anything bigger I don't think I really need. And last of all, I got this adhe adhesive spreader. It was the cheapest one at Bunnings, so that's what I got. But um, the grooves look massive, so I'm not sure if it'll work the best. But that is my Bunnings haul. I was actually really um, impatient, so I already cut up these tiles and placed them on the rim. They're not stuck down or anything. Um, just needed to see if it would fit. But I think if you look closely here, um, there's this like ridge 
on the inner frame of the mirror and the other issue is there's like about a centimeter of space on this side of the mirror where I'm not going to be attaching any tile it's only going to be attached to the very front part of the frame like this right so my plan is to do a pink grout but I think it'll really help if I just paint the sides and this inner groove white to prepare for the pink paint later on so that's just what I'm gonna do right now I've just got some white oh god I can't open this bottle oh no right BRB okay well that was just really stuck so I'm gonna just use this small paint and paint along the edges like this I didn't really know what to expect the sides to look like without any tile on them so I thought I'd be painting it pink to actually match the color of the grout later on after I'd finished tiling but I didn't end up doing that because I just applied a thin layer of grout on all of those edges and it seemed to work fine and I think it looks alright as well. You can be the judge of that later. I forgot to turn my mic on here, but I'm basically showing you how I'm going to cut the strips of tiles. There's like this mesh backing on the tile, so I just cut them lengthways. got my tile cut up so I'm just going to lay them on top to make sure that I have enough tiles for the frame. So I obviously measured how much or how many tiles I'd need before I made the order so I'd say don't eyeball it just because you never know like you might be one short of a tile that would be so annoying. with just four tiles to go. Look at that. Okay, so here is my grout. Um, let me open it. Am I meant to wear gloves for this? I have no idea. Oh, that looks yummy. <laughs> so I'm just gonna start with like this length here first. And I actually had to cut up the tiles individually in the end because the standard spacing, it wasn't allowing me to lay them exactly how I wanted. So yeah, this is just what I'm going to be doing. I mean, you can clearly see I bought the wrong adhesive spreader for this project, but I don't think it mattered too much in the end because you can just, you know, spread it and make your own grooves. And so I wasn't too fussed, but maybe you want, you know, a proper <laughs> tool for this. Then the fact that squatting in this position and tiling this for a few hours absolutely killed my back. I had so much fun and it was almost therapeutic. It was so nice just putting the adhesive down and tiling and look at my concentrated face. I That's like the most concentrated I am, I've ever been. <laughs> Twenty-four hours later. So yesterday, I completed um, adhering. Adhering? I completed tiling the whole mirror, and it's actually pretty sturdy. Like I'm pulling really hard, and 
they aren't coming off so you've been focusing like yeah really stuck on there now I've got to figure out the grouting and I've got my bag of grout here um, I don't know I'm kind of scared this is like the most scary part of this whole process I feel like but let's just see how we go I've got my ingredients ready ingredients it sounds like I'm cooking someone is riding their motorbike up and down the street for absolutely no reason I swear they're just coming going back and forth oh my god oh my god got my pink gloves um, they have holes in them which is why I'm using them for this purpose I've got a spatula to spread the grout is it too noisy oh no and then I've got some red acrylic paint because I want to DIY some pink grout and I heard that you can do it this way and um, I feel like it's okay because I'm not gonna like be walking on this grout or it's not in the bathroom or anything I'm literally never gonna do anything with it apart from sit it up against the wall so hopefully this works and I've got a milk carton that I'm gonna be using as a um, as my bucket to mix my grout I don't think I need that much anyway so let's just get started there are measurement instructions but I don't own a scale so I kind of eyeballed it I don't know I wish I had a scale but eh. the instructions said it should be like a toothpaste like consistency so oh my god it's actually so hard to mix So I was super conservative of how much paint I put in. I only did about one to two, two drops at a time until I got the color I wanted. I also felt like I was folding like macaron batter or something. <laughs> I mean, like have you ever seen someone use cooking utensils to tile or something? This pink grout looks so freaking delicious. This looks like strawberry frosting. Look at it. Doesn't it look, I just want to lick it. Like this consistency looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start grouting now. This was truly so much fun. It was like frosting cupcakes or something. You just have to make sure that the grout gets into all the crevices and it's not just sitting on the top of the gap with like a hole underneath. So I just made sure to pack in the grout the whole way through. Of course, I could have trialed this before I went into it, but um, I didn't. I just did it all in one go. So one thing I did notice is that the grout dried a lot lighter than I had expected. Usually acrylic paint dries a lot darker than when it is wet. So that's why I was quite conservative with how much paint I put into my grout mixture. But once it had dried, I feel like I could have put a little bit more paint in it. So I don't know, I just thought it might be helpful for you to know if you do try this out at home. And also obviously the safest option might be just to buy the pre-mixed colored grout. So that's always an option as well. Once I grouted everything on the same day, I just gave it a quick clean with a wet sponge. So after the initial wipe down, when I had first grouted, I waited 24 hours and then the next day I gave it another sponge wash just to clean all the tiles off. And that's just what it said on the instructions of my grout packaging. So that's what I followed. I was just too excited to see the final product. So I removed the painter's tape off camera. It wasn't as um, satisfying as you would expect because a lot of it had been stuck down with like the grout and everything. It took a while to get the painter's tape off but I'm so glad that I put it down because it saved me a lot of work cleaning the mirror. Okay so here's a bit of an update on what the tile is looking 
and for the most part I am so happy with how it turned out. Before I show you the final mirror, there's been a bit of an update in my living room as well. I moved everything around. Before my TV was on that wall but I've just moved all the plants to that wall and um, some of the bigger plants are just like sitting on the ground now and I also colored in the rug which turned out really nice um, but yeah that might be in a separate video. I, I ordered quite a few things for my foyer area so it doesn't look so empty but nothing's arrived like it's just been two weeks and there's so many delays with the parcel deliveries because of the lockdown which is totally understandable but if it kind of looks incomplete that's why i'm not gonna wait anymore i'm just gonna <laughs> film what the mirror looks like but yeah i do need like a rug i need a better hallway table i need some art to go on the wall but yeah i hope you understand the bareness but here is the final look of the mirror. Oh, before that, the other thing is, how do you film a mirror without being actually in the mirror half the time? Like, very difficult. <laughs> My flowers made in your life And I'm blooming by your side You know I've been waiting for too long Tickle right now Sunshine on the shoreline Feels like a super trooper Is this the true man show right now? Thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed today's episode of House Soybean If you are interested in seeing more House Soybean episodes and also DIY sewing videos please stay tuned I know that there haven't been a lot of sewing videos lately and that's largely because I'm still working on my sewing room makeover I'm trying to do it up so it looks a bit nicer than what it is and that's also kind of the reason why I've been avoiding sewing because that room's just a little bit of a, a crazy situation but I think that's gonna be our next video my sewing room makeover so I hope you're excited I'm kind of excited to see how it's gonna turn out but other than that thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you very soon in the next video bye